Hi, I'm Harrison Held, and we're at Herbie J. Pilato's great event at Barnes & Noble in Burbank. Tonight it was a tribute with Kathy Coleman from, uh, from Land of the Lost. And with me I have two of Kathy's friends. Uh, please introduce yourself. My name is Tracy Biltrick. I'm Laura Burnside. Hi, and, and you both went to school with Kathy? Yeah, we grew up with Kathy. Yeah. Yeah. In Simi Valley? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, Simi Valley and uh, junior high school. Yes. We all rode horses together. It was uh, a way for her to escape a little bit because she wasn't treated very nicely at the end of classes. What was with the kids in Simi Valley? They, just were, they were very jealous of they her. They were jealous. Very jealous. And uh, so, you know, I think that when we were all hanging together, she was just Kathy. You know, and I think that's why we were all so close because, you know, like Tracy said, she needed that escape, and um, and she wasn't a, a celebrity when she was with us. She still isn't. She's <laughs> Kathy. You know, we treat her just like we treat everybody else. But um, you know, she was she was. You know, we were all like the Three Musketeers, and we Absolutely. rode our horses to Thrifties and got ice cream and was, Taco Bell, time, tied yeah. them up on the water awesome. line. You know, it was but a good time. But it, that was her way to escape, and it was very sad. There were some times that, um, she, actually, most of the time, she would have to be picked up from school early mm -hmm. before um, the other class, before the school. To get to a shoot? Yeah. No, just to, just to get her out of the um, off the campus, because kids would be so mean to her. That is awful. Yeah, you is would think, horrible. you know, she was a TV star. They so. would we, admire her. And yeah, we had a great time with that. and. And she had to go, I know, it, it, but, and she dealt with that. Um, she was taking karate, she learned ways to, I know. But um, yeah, so she dealt with a lot of things that I thought was really sad. I think a lot of the kids, if you look back on it now, all of us that were in school, that see where she's at right now, um, kind of regret maybe. Well, they should. It's awful to be mean to other kids at school. Well, we've been blessed, and she's our bestest, yeah. and we've been You're friends for sisters. forever. Yeah, yeah we're You're protective of her. Blonde. Very protective. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. What do you do now? Um, I'm a mom at home. Yes, yes. I started very late. My kids are older. Her kids are in their 30s, and mine are in their teens. So, yeah, I'm it's never too late. Later. Yeah, I know. And how about you? I'm. I'm actually in mortgage banking. Um, that's all I've done. I started when I was 18, and uh, that's all I've done. And I love it. And I wake up every morning and get to go to work. Did you ever want? Did you ever want to be actresses? No, no, not after we seeing saw, what Kathleen we saw went what through. Kathy went through yeah. But I, I do have to say that there is um, a side of her that nobody really knows, and it's very sweet and very kind, and she's very open, and non-judgmental mm -hmm. she's been judged so much in her lifetime and she has a way now of approaching that differently and respecting that yeah. and not taking it so seriously yeah, she seems very philo philosophical she's, mm -hmm. she's, very, she's very spiritual yeah. um, and she's very confident with herself mm -hmm. which it took her a long time to get there and so to be a friend of hers now and to see where she's come from as we were all friends and where she's at now. You're mentioning that you're in the book. Are you both in the book? No. <laughs> she might as well be. She's in the book. You're just, no, I'm yeah. Yes. Um, have you read the book? Yes. Oh, I've read the book. Yes. I read. I've read the book several times. Um, I, I sit at one time. You say in the next edition, mention me. Yeah. No, I read. I, I've read this book probably three times, and two of the times that I read it, I read it all from cover to you know cover. Yeah. Um, I was a funny story. I was I was sitting in a colonoscopy center waiting for my boyfriend to come out, and I was reading this. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and and the ironic thing is that we're all in our fifties, sitting there, you know, waiting, having colonoscopies. But every, there was not one man in there that didn't freak out when I pulled this book out and said, "Oh my God, I had such a crush on her." The whole place, I was so, it was so yes. hilarious. I was like, yeah. if Kathy was here right now, she'd be like itching, yeah. like that. Well, it's <laughs> but funny, it funny. The, like you mentioned, or she mentioned, the kids in Simi Valley, which just had attitudes or whatever. Mm -hmm. And the reason she went there was because she got her horse. And she could ride the horse yeah, to see me valley. Her mom promised that she got that series that she would get a, a pony, and her mom made good on that, and she had that pony, and she loved it, and she. Yeah. We and we could disappear. It. We could go to the oh, ranch, get our horses on, and yeah. we would just yeah. ride for hours. 
I think she's really lucky that she became friends with you two. I can I can see. We're lucky to have her as a friend. Yeah. She's yeah. a, yeah. a, a really she's wonderful She's always just woman. been Kathy to us. You yeah. know, she was never, you know, she was never Kathy the movie star. She was just always <laughs> Kathy, you know. Yeah. Let's go ride the horse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, let's yeah. go ride. Let's get the hell out of yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's nice talking to you. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you. So Thank you. Thanks so thank much. You.